So this is the Mighty Gunvolt Burst DLC character, Ikoro. And she's kind of a more advanced character. She starts off with half HP compared to the other characters. However, she has the special MP gauge where when it's completely full, she will enter a state where she is both invincible and powered up. So she deals more damage and every enemy you kill while in that powered up state, just like getting a regular power up, uh, you'll get burst, even if, you know, regardless of the distance to your target. So let's just activate that. And now, no matter how far away my enemy is, I'll always get a burst when I kill it. And that makes her very, very good for both speedrunning and for um, just general getting high score. Because you can activate this ability pretty regularly. It charges as you defeat enemies, like most skills. And you can activate it even when you're only at 50% charge. It'll just last for less time. Ikoro also, interestingly, jumps higher. This is not an aerial action I'm using. She just automatically jumps something like twice as high and faster than the other characters, and it makes her really fun to play. So she's a bit dangerous because of the low HP, but I would say her skill and jump height more than makes up for it. She's just a blast to play as. She is a more advanced character, like I said. I would beat the game once as either Beck or Gunvolt before trying her out. Plus, I would just beat the game in general before buying DLC, but hey. Uh, she's really fun to play as. She also has two different modes of hovering for her aerial action. And as you can see, it lasts a really long time, so her aerial action, let's take a quick peek at that. Her aerial action is either do not descend or slowly descend. Um, the slowly descend works more like calls hovering, where she sort of just goes down slowly at like a right angle. Uh, but with Do Not Descend on, you just float up, and you can also fix your direction. And what that is useful for is, say, there's a boss over here, and... Oh, this is a ladder. But you can kind of float around and hit a boss. And especially when combined with the change midair direction, or chain shot direction, customization. Ikoro is just a freaking boss murderer. It is quite nice, because you can just... A lot of bosses will annoyingly hover out of reach. And Ikoro can just hover right back in their reach and get up all in their grill. And as you can see, I can also get those items quite easily. So Ikoro is a very effective character. So don't be turned off by the low HP. Let me just murder this boss for you here. Now I do have, I think, my damage tripler, so it'll go down fast regardless. But she just does beastly damage. Oops. Got set. But also completely invincible. So yeah, as you can see, she is kind of ridiculous when it comes to bosses. And you can also deal with difficult parts of stages quite easily with her. Because you can just go invincible. As you can see, piece of cake. So you can go down in just a few hits, but her skills really make up for it. She's probably my favorite DLC character so far. So, that is Ikoro. Oh, she's uh, from Gunvolt, but, er, not Gunvolt. From Galgun, by the way. She's probably one of the least recognizable characters in the DLC. But yeah, that's what she's from.